Now I'm going to show you how you can use um, the calculator to, if you have a graphing calculator, um, you can use the integrated rate law to um, speed up some things for you. Um, I've listed the steps. Um, I'm not going to read them. I'm actually just going to go through them as I do them. Um, and I'll demonstrate on my calculator because there's a lot there. So you do several things. And now, so we ha we're given all of this data. Now, you know you're going to have to use an integrated rate law because you're given time. You're still given concentration, but instead of given a rate, you're given time. So, the first thing you want to do is we got to plot all this data. And so it's easier for me to do this on my calculator. So we're going to go into stat and edit. And what I need to do is I need to clear all of these out. So go up to the top of my list, hit clear and enter, clear and enter, go over, clear and enter. Okay. Let me put that all the way up there. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. looks like you can see this now. Okay, so your first list, this is going to be all of your time values. Make sure you do enter time zero. So zero, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. I know this gets tedious, but it's way better than doing it another way. 900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300. 1400, 1500. And let's just say, I can tell you that the first time I, I did this and I learned how to do this was it, I was 17. I was a senior in high school. If I can learn to do it, I promise you can learn to do it. I think it's actually quite fun. So now we're going to put in our concentrations directly. Okay, so 0.1, 0.0971. 0 0.0971, 0.0974, 0.0975, 0.0984, 0.0986, 0.0993, 0.0770, 0 0.0748, 0 0.0727, 0 0.0706, 0 0.0686, 0 0.0666, 0 0.0647. Okay, and they match up. I'm always paranoid I'm going to do that. Okay, so that was the tedious part. After this, we're going to let the calculator do the work. So you go up and you're going to highlight list three. And you're going to say that list three is going to equal. So this would be like our first order reaction. It would be proportional to this. So we know we actually need the natural log. So natural log is going to be here. So hit natural log. And then now go to um, hit second and then do you see how this says list two right here in blue list two and the calculator just took the natural log of all of those values and you didn't have to do it now we're going to do it again we're going to say we want now we also need to know for our second order the inverse of our concentration so for, so make sure you're highlighting list four. So don't do it from down here. That's not going to work. It needs to be all of list four is going to equal, and you can you can do it as um, uh, as one over, and then but this time we still need list two. So list two, or I'm going to clear this out. You can do it as um, list two. 
to the negative one. Same values, you just decide how to do it. Now, we have all this data entered. Now we need to determine, well, what is the order of the reaction? All right, so now let's exit out. So let's second and quit. Now we need to run some regression equations. So to run linear regressions, you go to stat, calc, linear regression, and our X list is always gonna be list one. That's our time. Now our Y list, we wanna determine if this is a zero order reaction, so that's gonna be list two. Okay, go down and just hit calculate. Okay, so here, what you wanna do is you wanna kinda of look at your R squared values, and you're looking for an R squared value that is, you want at least three nines. So you're like, this is close. Okay, so a lot of people would see this and go, oh, that's a great fit, it's linear, stop here. Always go through all of the regressions before you stop. Okay, so now, so that's our first order, or our zero order. Let's calculate our first order now, because we may have to come back to it. So just kind of remember 0.996. So now go to stat, calculate, go down to linear regression, Time is still our X value. This time we want our Y values to be list three. So that's gonna be our natural log. Calculate please. Ooh, look at all those nines. Look at all that. I bet that's it. I don't know for sure, but I bet that's it. Just to be sure, because it doesn't take long for the calculator to do a regression. So you do it one more time with your last list for your inverse to see if it's a second order. Nope, 0.996. So first order it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out and go back. There we go, so there's my second order. So now I can use this information. Okay, so after I ran all of those, it was my plot of my natural log of A versus time is linear. That means this is a first order reaction with respect to this reactant, and our K value is the opposite, so it's, it's negative of the slope. So just make this, ignore the negative and make it a positive. So that would be 2.901 um, times 10 to the negative fourth. Now you have to kind of remember here, first order reaction, inverse seconds. Okay, so we can either use this equation or we can just use our integrated rate law, which says, because it says calculate the concentration in 1900 seconds. So natural law of concentration of um, SO2Cl2 at um, 1900 seconds equals um, negative KT plus natural log of our initial concentration. That's at time zero. Plug and chug. Natural log SO2 Cl2 at 1900 seconds equals, now K was positive here, now we need it to be negative. So now put the negative sign on there. 2.901 times 10 to the negative fourth inverse seconds times our time, that would be 1900 seconds. So see, seconds go away now. Plus our natural log of our initial time, or initial concentration, 0 0.1. Okay, so there's no real, sometimes it'll say how much time has passed. Sometimes you'll have to figure out some weird things. Okay, so let's, we can go up, we can say negative, 2.901 times 10 to the negative fourth times 1900 plus natural log 0.1. Oh, I've got a negative concentration. That's not right.
Yeah, because my initial concentration was 0.1. Where did I go wrong? Make sure I do this right. Oh, that's the natural log of the concentration. Uh, I just need to keep going. Okay, sorry, I just totally spaced out there. Of 1900 equals negative 2.853. So how do you undo a natural log? You take e to that power. So now we can take e to that power. And there we go. So concentration of SO2Cl2 at 1900 equals 0 0.0576 molar.